All right, so in this video, I'm just going to sketch y equals sine x and y equals cos x. Uh, now, first of all, we're just going to focus on y equals sine x and y equals cos x will be pretty simple after that. We've already talked about the unit circle and how sine x and cos x are related in a kind of a, a theoretical standpoint. Now we're just going to jump into those and sketch them. So this is y equals sine x. Now you can see it starts at the origin. It starts by moving up to here and it gets to a peak of 1, comes back down, up to here and back to here. Now the whole thing, you can see my x-axis is labelled as pi on 2, pi, 3 pi on 2 and 2 pi. And it also goes back in the other direction over there. Alright, so now I'm going to sketch that on my actual bit of paper x-axis, y-axis, I'm starting at the origin. Now, I've sort of gone every four squares here. I'm going to call this um, pi on 2. This is pi. Uh, this is 3 pi on 2. And this is um, 2 pi. And I'm just going to move in the positive direction now. I'll, I'll keep moving forward in a second. We can go further than that, uh, but we'll just go one once at the moment. So, First step, I'm going to sort of fill in my points. I'm going to go from there up to there. So I'll put a mark there because I'm going to end up there eventually. I'm going to go back down to here, put a mark there. I'm going to go back down to here. And then I'm going to go back to the start. And now I try to sketch it as, as, as fluidly as possible. I might use a pencil to begin with to see if I can get it right sort of straight, it sort of evens out when it gets to the top there. And sort of evens out a bit here like that. Okay, and that's from 0 to 2 pi. And we can do the negative side as well. Negative pi on 2 pi, negative 3 pi on 2, that should be negative pi, negative 2 pi there. And again, I'm going to put in the points that I'm going to aim for. And then I'm going to try to be as, as fluid as possible. I might just uh, might turn it upside down and kind of, kind of, oh, there you go. Now I can just do the same thing I just did. I'm left-handed, so you might do things a bit differently. But this seems to work for me. Okay, and now we have a nice thing here. And it can continue on uh, forever and ever and ever. Now this one here, this next bit here, 2 pi, and then each segment is pi on 2. So this next bit would be 2 pi plus pi on 2, which would be like 5 pi on, on 2. Okay, that's what sine x looked like. Uh, now finally, cos x is pretty similar. It's just, let's see what it looks like, y equals cos x. Okay, so... You can see y equals cos x starts this time at the number 1, comes down to 0, down to um, negative 1, and back uh, to 0 there. Okay, and then back up to the start where it started again. So it's the same curve, it's just shifted across a little bit. So if I was to sketch that one, maybe use a different coloured pen, we start at 1. We come down to here, we come down to there, there, and back up again. And I'll try to do my best to make it as smooth as possible. Not quite. I'll rub that out and fix it up. And then we go the other way. being a bit dangerous here now. You want to try to keep them as neat as possible. You can see I've made like a real, real ugly bit there. Smooth that out, use your eraser, smooth it out a little bit. Probably because I didn't put any dots in first. Okay, that's y equals sine x and y equals cos x and how to sketch the two of them. Don't get them confused. Sine x starts here, cos x starts there.